Yeah, I, I do think, though, that 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 does point to and I and this is speaking of The New York Times only, you know, loving to cover like the smallest sl- sl- possible sliver of the population. I think that and I plenty of people have made this observation before. All of these trends and experiences tend to attenuate the further away you get from elite institutions. You know, like I think that probably the experience of going to like, you know, ASU or Alabama actually probably is less different in in any case, less politically fraught um, than certainly going to Harvard and probably not much more politically fraught than it was to go there in, you know, 1985, in part because, as you alluded to, Matt, I think, you know, most of those places have basically just been converted into technical colleges. I mean, we don't yeah. call them such, but they're, they're, it's all vocational training. So, yeah. I, you know, I think it's the attempt to sort of graft that Athenian idol onto the modern uh, hedge fund with a college attached that constitutes Princeton or Harvard or Yale that that like produces the most maximal version of that kind of derangement. How about we abolish the Ivy League? What if we just get rid of these stupid schools? Yeah, none of their teams are good anyway. Is that a possibility? (laughs) Would that not be a, a bipartisan solution? And it would make us stop having to read these goddamn articles. Well, they could, I think like, this is just, the, the answer to the question. Not like turn them public or any of that bullshit. Raise them to the ground. <laughs> salt the lot. earth and just get rid of them. We do not need them. They are only annoying. They only exist to produce annoying people and to produce annoying discourse. I can't help but think that if we got the troops together, we could come up with a <laughs> with a plant-based <laughs> league of educational institutions that would beat the pants off of the Ivy League. <laughs> Yeah, the Kudzu League. How about that? Yeah. <laughs> the Monstera League. No, like the top, the top twenty, thirty universities get just they're they're done. They're gone. Nobody gets to go to them. We couldn't handle it. Okay, you happy now? Nobody gets to go to these. I think this is a. I think this is no, an I, actual I, solution. And until I hear somebody actually propose this, I don't want to hear them bitching about it. Because what is the solution to this? What is, does this asshole have an answer to this question other than complaining about it? No, none of them do. It is well, just to I mean, fill for, space and time and to uh, uh, curate your victimhood complex. Well, Matt, I mean, like your, your solution is, of course, uh, a, a noble and just one. And you think it would be one a sort of a, a, a populist uh, battle cry that could rally both the right and left. But that's not going to work on the Hoff, this guy, the Mr. Hoffman's of the world, because they want to go to fucking Yale and Princeton. Tough shit. <laughs> you don't get to go. 